In 2013, one year before the initial Russian invasion began, FEBC opened its first FM station in the city of Slovyansk. When, during the invasion in 2014, the station was destroyed, we lost more than just our equipment. Four of our volunteers were martyred for their faith. They died while singing praise songs to the Lord. Since then, FEBC opened several more stations. Millions of Ukrainians have heard the good news on the radio and online. And our goal remains the same today, to magnify Jesus and inspire listeners to follow him. The Russian forces are very close to Slovyansk now. But last week, our director, Edward, was able to visit our studio. Friends, we are on Mount Karachum. You see this tower. Uh, this tower was shelled more than once. Today we came to do diagnostic our equipment. We are continuing to broadcast in here. Thank you for your support. Every one of the team has lost somebody. This is where my friend and his family were killed. They were members of my church. Please pray that God will protect our studio and our city. As Edward just mentioned, this tragedy, this war touched every once of our lives. Uh, so um, I was last night talking to, to the widow of one of those volunteers who died. And as, as we were talking, I, I said, well, what, what do you feel right now? Years passed. And, and she said, um, I'm so, so grateful to God that I had such a uh, wonderful husband who was able to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. And even though he gave his life for it, he did the most important thing that a person can do um, on this on this earth, and and this is this is how we all feel. We are doing the most important job, and of course, of course, uh, we understand we cannot do this this alone, and that's why we feel that not only us we are one family, but also you who are supporting us. We feel that we are one family together. Um, we. Um, uh, we work with amazing people, amazing partners throughout Ukraine, and uh, especially with some of the chaplains who are doing such a great work, and we work with them. We recently created um, a little video with Vadim. He's one of the chaplains. If we can see the video, just a just few seconds, it's in Ukrainian, um, but just for you to get the understanding um, how, how it works. Доброго дня, мене звуть Вадим, я капелан батальйону Збройних сил України. Я хочу подякувати нашим братам і сестрам, котрі роблять для нас волонтерську справу. Дякую вам. Без вас було б важко. Іноді буває таке, що і просиш, і мусить прислати, але час. Yeah, and that's 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 Vadim just just thanking all the supporters who who are uh, are supporting the ministry in Ukraine and uh, the evangelism efforts in Ukraine. Um, last week he he was killed, so we lost we lost another one, and um, so we minister from uh, from that place where suffering is just next to us, where we are losing friends, um, where um, tragedy is all around us, especially with our listeners. So we realize that we hear their voices. Uh, we experience their pain as we minister the love of Jesus. 